This works perfectly. Look at this boat. Does it turn? It does turn. The f oh my g Oh! <laughs> this is so good. Only- Oh wait! I was gonna say, only problem is- Oh god, I nearly- I, I nearly sunk myself. This video is sponsored by G2A, so check out the link in the description for some cheap and awesome games. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of The Last Leviathan. So, before I get started, I know, I messed up the upload schedule for these videos. I uploaded two videos which were like, uh, switched around accidentally, so I apologize for that. This is not the ship that we're gonna be, like, working with today, because today I have a really cool idea for a ship, and also, can I just say, I think? Correct me if I'm wrong, they could have added some new blocks kind of recently because I know I can remember some of these. So they could have had an update that just came out, which is a good thing because I just started playing this game. So I'm glad to see there's, there's still stuff happening. And just because I know there's going to be that like one person that's going to ask for me to like use the ship. To, so look, I'm just going to like swim forward and I'm going to use all of the cannons for you. There you have it. How fantastic is that? Look at this. It just fires. It just fires them all. So there you have it. Look, because I know like one of you was going to ask. So as I said, I want to make kind of like a speed boat looking boat. A speed boat looking boat. That is great English with your boy Vedat. So I wanted to have like this one bit at the front, very long bit. And then what I'm going to have is going to have like two kind of rails on each side or like little like floaty things. You guys will probably like know what I mean once I like get this thing going. All I got to do is kind of bring these out. Actually, I might have to like bring it out even further just so we have enough space to work with because that's the worst thing that can possibly happen you start building something and you realize you made it either too small too big and you just can't continue so i want to avoid that at all costs today and hopefully it's gonna look pretty dope so i'm gonna bring everything down by two blocks because obviously we need like a decent haul for this as well but like instead of bringing these two like sticky outputs i don't even know what to call them i'm gonna keep them only two only two too deep and this is gonna come down even more so we can do something cool with this hopefully look at that it looks kind of like an auto looks i don't know what it looks like but it looks pretty pretty dank so far if you ask me we're gonna be using some of these new blocks i'm pretty sure these are new blocks if not you could, guys can probably correct me in the comments i'm actually okay with that I'm going to give you full permission to correct me if I've just made a mistake. Right, so now that we have this, all we got to do now is raise it up. And I'm just thinking how I want to have this. Because I think I'm going like, to put cannons on each side right here. Because obviously I want it to be a speedy boat. So I'm not going to add too many cannons. But I still want it to look pretty amazing. If you know what I mean? Because obviously we don't want a crappy looking boat. Who would want that anyway, right? Hold on, we're going to do it like kind of differently like this so now we have like slots for the cannons and we're not gonna have like as i said too many of them and then we're gonna balance things out by adding like just filling these up completely because obviously we're gonna have like two of the the little like bits on the each side as well which we gotta work with there you go and we have like a decent looking hole so far that i'm kind of happy with not gonna lie so i'm gonna put the cannons in right now should we do like the spinning cannons should we like try something different oh this is gonna be cool so we're gonna have something like this so this ship's shouldn't be too heavy whatsoever which is fantastic and look at this this like these are gonna fit in so nicely on the ship you guys will see in a minute what i mean by having like these little floaty bits on the side i think some of you might already know it i just don't know like what to call them what their like professional name is because i'm pretty sure they have one okay so we're gonna add like this slopey bit a few of these slopes on each side there you go and look at that that looks pretty sick already so we're gonna do the same thing on this this side here as well so we can make it a little bit more smooth and aerodynamic because that's what we want so we gotta flip this upside down and there you have it look at this and i'm pretty sure hold on there's these bits that we can fill them up right now <gasps> oh this is perfect this boat is gonna be like so aerodynamic looking and it's gonna look so slick i'm actually so looking forward to doing this because this is the first boat i've built in this game which i had like a, a good idea of what i wanted going into it which is, you know, always a good idea to have. Because if you're going in blind, chances are it's not going to turn out what you kind of, like, wanted. Because you're, like, you're thinking...
thinking up of like new designs as you go, which is not the best. This is how I usually build, but like having like a, a semi kind of like good idea in your head is always a really good thing. And I said good like 50,000 times in that sentence. I don't know what's going on with my commentary today. It's just not on point. Okay, I think this is looking pretty cool so far. So now we gotta add obviously the floaty bits. I just keep calling them the floaty bits. Can someone tell me what these things are actually called if you know what I'm about to build right here? Like the, the little, I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, I just realized I can't have them like too far up because then they're gonna get in the way of the cannons, which would not be good. Would not be good at all. So like we gotta, we gotta watch out over here, you know? I'm actually beginning to like this the way this is looking so far. Right, so now we gotta just, I gotta round off all of these edges to make them look nice and sleek. And I'm thinking I might actually like remove this block right there and replace them with a couple of those to make it like okay looking I suppose because it looks kind of weird not to have like these on this side as well. So let me just like maybe extend it back a little bit as well. Why the hell not? And I kind of wonder how well this thing is gonna float. So you know what? Let's test it a little bit. Let's just give it a quick test. Set sail, test one. There you go, let's save it. This is really good, look how stable this looks. Oh, this is amazing, guys, this is amazing. <laughs> so we're making progress. I actually quite like the look of the hull at the moment. The only thing that kind of bothers me are like these bits right here. So I'm gonna quickly try and replace those. Just I think these are gonna work just fine. This bit looks a little bit weird, how the way this just sticks out, but you know what, we're gonna deal with that. So now I kind of wanna do like a little cover up here so I want to round off the top of the speedboat as well and we're also gonna have like a little bit for like the captain to sit in if you know what I mean and hopefully fingers crossed it's actually gonna do and look do and look it's actually gonna look pretty goddamn cool and we might even add a little bit armor to the front to kind of like balance the front from the back you know what that's a brilliant idea I'm gonna do that right now I just don't want it to make it like super heavy because that's gonna be bad let me tell you it is actually floating reasonably well at the moment so we don't want to mess with that too too much okay I'm just gonna do this and then I think we are going to be close with finishing this which is exciting okay I think we are actually finished here now. I don't think I can add anything else and to be honest just look at this. How badass does it look from the front? We've got like the little scope, the little telescope right here. We obviously have got the bit where the captain is going to sit. We've got this giant like ram head. As you can see here it just looks so cool. We've got some barrels. We've got everything. Just everything. I can't think of anything else that would be kind of like useful that we could add. Now this is the moment of truth. Is this thing actually gonna set some Sale. Please work, please work, please. <gasps> okay, it is a little bit front heavy. It's actually oh god, okay, it's it's way too heavy. I um yeah, we, we gotta we gotta change this. Let's try this again. <gasps> Much better! Oh my god, yes, yes, this is good. So if we start Oh my, okay, this works perfectly. Look at this boat. Does it turn? It does turn. The f oh my oh <laughs> This is so good. Only, oh wait, I was gonna say only problem is, oh god, I nearly, I, I nearly sunk myself, which would not be good at all. Oh, you crab, I nearly sunk myself again. Look at this, I'm just gonna open, oh shit, no. I got like one of the bits like, and I destroyed one of my bits. I don't know how I managed to do that, hold on. If I go into, what did I actually destroy? Hold on, oh, I destroyed that bit, no. Hold on, this is bad, unload. Everything unload. Oh god, I've, I'm destroying more of my ship. This is not good at all. Oh no, my ship. But apart from that, I gotta say, I am super happy with the way this ship works. First of all, it maneuvers like a dream. It swims so well as well. And it has like all powerful weapons on it. Apart from this mortar, which is definitely not good. The range on this thing is kind of poor on the mortar. And look, I even added like a little spike to the front. It just like, it just looks so cool. It just looks so sick. We could technically make it a little bit faster. So you know what? Let's do that. So hopefully our speedboat is gonna be a little bit faster. And it is. Look at this. And it still maneuvers just as well. This is possibly my best boat that I've ever built. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Slow, slow down. I don't want to destroy myself. That would be like 
so unfortunate if I managed to do that. All right, side cannons firing fine. At least I don't destroy my ship by firing my side cannons, which is good. I just love the way the back of the ship looks. And look at that. I can even go into first person if you guys want me to. Look at that. The Sea Leviathan first person mode right here. I can look around. I can do everything. I know it is a bit of ghetto. I'm not going to lie. It's not the best thing you guys probably have ever seen in your life, but at least it works. At least we have first person mode, which is kind of functional in a weird non-existent way. We got to go. We gotta find a fight. We gotta fight someone here, all right? Because otherwise, it's an episode wasted if we don't, like, fight someone, right? I genuinely can't believe how stable this ship actually is. Like, with all the stuff that we have on it, and, like, we've got all the, like, blades and everything, all the propellers, like, armor, cannons. Oh, this is just perfect. This is just my favorite ship. I don't think I'm gonna beat that. So this is it, guys. The last Leviathan is over because I can't beat this creation. Maybe you guys can. We've got something. We've got something right there. So I'm gonna try and mortar this bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, no. They're destroying. Oh, my. Oh, they're destroying my ship. My, pu my pretty little ship. What the fuck just happened? I don't even know what hit me. What the fuck? Where? What happened? It's like completely destroyed. That's not, that's not gonna tell my mortars aren't even reaching. What the fuck? Okay, we got that. We got that at least. Holy shit, what is going on to my house? I was gonna say house. But this is definitely not my house. No, we cannot. Oh my god, why are the turrets like so? Oh god, I'm, I'm starting to mortar myself. Okay, we're gonna ram it. We're gonna ram it. I've got my spike. Incoming! Yes! Oh dear. This ship lasted us very long. It's still an almighty and powerful ship, obviously. I don't know why you guys would say otherwise. Oh dear. Okay. We lost we lost our side wing or whatever. Oh, do oh no. It's burning. We can't fire. This is it. I'm afraid. Yep, this is it. Our speedboat is done. Oh no, poor speedboat. I wonder how fast this speedboat is gonna be now. Oh, look at this. Now this is a true speedboat. Look how fast it's going. We're doing 18. 18 knots was our like maximum speed right there, but which is kind of good and it still maneuvers pretty well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed another episode of The Last Leviathan. I'm glad to see that you guys are enjoying this series because this is a fun game to mess around with. As you can probably tell, I'm having a lot of fun doing this and I am not kidnapped by ISIS. I'm not acting weird in my videos just to get subscribers, guys. Just because I have a little mental breakdown. Please, how dare you say that? How dare you? But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of The Last Leviathan. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're gonna have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and bye. Bye 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 bye.